Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now going to be answering a paper, Pure Mathematics, P2 International A level um, Edexcel, Pearson Edexcel paper. Um, this is from June 2021, which again was one of those strange um, sessions where the exams were kind of cancelled and then they released this, what was called an unseen paper, which was um, kind of like a bit of a strange session anyway. So the coronavirus affected this session. And um, so not everybody sat this paper um, at the same time. Some people sat it at different times and what up, what not. And um, anyway, so I'm going to go through this paper for those people revising for exams which are coming after this, like the next session now is going to be October, November, June, uh, October um, 2021. So for those students and students after that, I'll be going through this paper. Um, just to do, get some practice done. Okay, so um, the link to the playlist for the rest of the questions for this paper will be found in the description of this video. And um, you can find other um, kind of links to other papers, other P1, P2, P3, M1, S1, and even IGCSE material also in the description um, you can find links to those other sessions and papers if you want to find them. Okay, let's get on with question number one then. Now, question number one here is, um, it's like a worded type of question if you look at it. And it tells us that Adina is saving money to buy a new computer. She saves £5 in week one, £5.25 in week two, £5.50 in week three and so on until she has enough money in total to buy the computer. She decides to model her savings using either an arithmetic series or a geometric series using the information given A part 1 states with a reason whether an arithmetic series or a geometric series should be used. Um, okay, so for A part 1, we've got to state whether it's more sensible for her or it's correct for her to use an arithmetic or a geometric series. Now, arithmetic series and geometric series. Now, an arithmetic series is one which increases by a constant amount each time. So if you look at, you've got week one, she has saved five pounds. Say 5.00 pounds if you want just to. Uh, week two, she has, paid, she has saved five pounds and 25 pence, 5.25 pounds. And week three, she has f she has saved five point five pounds. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that it's going up by the same amount each time, which is 0.25, 25 pence every week. Okay, so it's an arithmetic series. But in case you weren't sure, to to show that's an arithmetic series, you take a term, and subtract from it the term before it. So like this is term u1, u2, u3. So if you do u3 minus u2. Okay, you take the term and subtract from it the term before it. So you have 5.50 minus 5.25. You get 0 0.25. And if you take u2 minus u1, you also get, get 5.25 minus 5.00, which is also 0 0.25. So you have a common difference. The common difference is 0 0.25. So therefore, it's an arithmetic series. If you wanted to show that something is a... Um, geometric series, you take a term and you divide it by the term before it. You divide them because there's a common ratio. So in this case, if you did 5.5 uh, divided by 5.25, um, it will give you a particular ratio, which we can just calculate if you wish. So you have 5.5 divided by 5.25. That's 2.5. And that gives us 22 over 21. And if you take u2 divided by u1, you're going to get 5.25 divided by 5, which obviously is not going to be the same. So if you did 5.25 divided by, oops, divided by 5, that will give you 21 over 20. So it's not the same. Okay, so they're not the same. Therefore, it's not geometric. Okay, so we didn't actually have to go through all of this. Okay, I just wanted to just show you e how to check if it's geometric. If you divide a term with the term before it, and you get the same ratio each time, then it's geometric. If you subtract a term 
from the term um, if you subtract um, the term okay and the term before it each time you get the same difference it's a it's an arithmetic series so what you can say state with the reason whether it's arithmetic you state that it's, 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 it is arithmetic it is arithmetic or you could just write arithmetic and the reason being okay there is a common difference there is a common difference something like that okay and you can put if you want the difference sorry and that is 0 0.25 excuse my bad handwriting okay so something like that would be fine okay there is a common difference let me just make that a bit neater I know a lot of you complain about my handwriting okay so it's, 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 it's arithmetic and the reason being there is a common difference that should be fine as you answer then it says part two it says write down an expression in terms of n for the amount of pounds saved in week n okay so this is week one week two week three you want to find week n okay so what we should know is that to find any term in a geometric in a sorry in an arithmetic series is given by the formula a plus n minus one times d and this formula is actually found in the formula book uh, for p1 okay you don't have to really um, look at it if once you've practiced some questions pretty easy a plus n minus one times d is going to tell you any term in an arithmetic series okay so a being the first term which is five and uh, d being the common difference which is 0 0.25 and n being the term we want which is the nth term so it's going to be in terms of n as it says find in terms of n okay so we're going to say un is equal to a which is five first term plus n minus one times d which is the common difference 0 0.25 so we want to simplify this um it didn't tell us to simplify it but it's better for, for us to simplify it we have five and it's going to be plus 0 0.25 times n minus 0 0.25 so you end up with un is equal to it's 0 0.25 n and you have five minus a quarter which is 4.75 0 0.25 n plus 4.75 that is the nth term of this six series arithmetic series okay that's the right that's the expression in terms of n for the amount saved in weekend it's not asking us for the total amount saved up to weekend no it's asking us about the amount saved in that particular weekend okay so if you wanted to find how much was saved in say the seventh week we would just replace n with seven and it would tell us that okay so that's the nth term it tells us um, a general um, expression for the amount saved in a particular week all right so that's part a done now for part b okay so remember our first term was five pounds and our common difference was 0 0.25 pounds as given that the computer adina wants to buy cost 350 pounds find the number of weeks it will take for adina to save enough money to buy the computer so here we got to think about the sum of the terms every week as they build up not just the amount in a particular week okay the total sum of all the amount of money that she saves so here we got to think of the formula for the sum of all the terms up to a particular term so we know sn okay the sum of the the nth term of a arithmetic series is, got, is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d again this is given in the formula book okay and sometimes you're asked to prove it which you can find in some of the other videos i've done um but um here we're not asked to prove it we're just asked to find the sum of or, or we're asked to use this formula in order to answer this question because we got to find the number of weeks it takes for this this sum to equal 350. so we know that sn is has to be equated to 350 pounds we know the first term is five pounds and we know the common difference is 0 0.25 pounds okay so if we substitute these values in we can then find what n is so n over 2 times 2 a which is 2 times 5 plus n minus 1 so n minus 1 times 0 0.25 okay and that has to equal 350 so we're going to find the value of n for which this is true so we have to solve this equation so what I'll do is I'll multiply by 2 to get rid of this fraction. So I have n, and this is going to be 10 
plus, and you have 0 0.25n minus 0 0.25 is equal to 700. I've multiplied by 2 to get rid of this 2, so this becomes 700. Um, that's right so far, 2a plus, okay, so you have um, n times 10, which is 10n, and you're going to have uh, plus 0 0.25, in fact, let me just add these together first. Make it a bit simpler. This is n, and this is going to be 10 minus 0 0.25, which is 9.75, plus 0 0.25n equals 700. And now we need to uh, multiply this out. So you have 9.75n plus 0 0.25n squared equals 700. Okay, um, and we will have this equation 0 0.25n squared plus 9.75n minus 700 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. What I'm going to do is divide everything by 0 0.25 just to make it a bit easier uh, in terms of trying to make these numbers a bit simpler to deal with. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.25 to make this n squared. Let's see if that helps us to make these easier. 9.75 divided by a quarter, 0 0.25, whoops, 0 0.25, that gives us a nice number, well, kind of like a nice number, um, plus 35, 39, sorry, plus 39n, and then we're going to have uh, 700 divided by a quarter, 0 0.25, what's going on there, 0 0.25, that gives us 2,800, so you have minus 2,800 equals 0. I'm pretty sure this is going to factorize. Okay, however, um, I'm not really asked to find out what numbers multiply to give you 2,800 and add to give you 39. They have to have different signs. Um, let's see, let's see, um, different signs. 13 and 3, 30 and 13, no, okay, I'll just use um, the quadratic formula, it will be easier for us to deal with. So you have minus b, so minus 39, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 39 squared minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 2,800, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so let's see what that gives us, we can just stick this in our calculator and make sure. So we can have here um, minus 39 plus or, or plus, I'll put plus first, the square root of b squared, which is 39 squared, minus 4 times a times c minus 2800 divided by 2. Okay, that gives us 36.89 so actually it doesn't give us uh, it doesn't factorize so it gives us 36.89 okay 36.8937 so n equals 36.8937 dot 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 and n also equals if we just change this to a minus here because the minus 39 minus that I guess that whoops I guess that will give us a um negative answer of course that's going to be minus 75.89 minus 3 dot 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 of course we can't take that because n has to be positive the number of weeks it takes to save of course it's going to start from one it's going to go on so we can see that by the time you reach 36.8 weeks okay you will uh, have the amount needed so it's going to take 37 weeks altogether for her to have saved enough to have to buy the computer okay it's going to take 38 seven weeks because 36 by the 36 weeks you'll have just under what she needs um by the 37th week she'll have okay just over what she needs so it's going to take a 37 weeks altogether to save okay um enough money to buy the computer so we can say 37 weeks okay that's the answer there and that's the answer to question number one um, I hope that was clear. That's 1B and 1A in this, in this video. Um, other questions from this video, uh, from this 
sorry, from this paper can be found by clicking this link over here and um, other papers from this topic of series and sequences in P2 can be found by clicking this link over here. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking over in this link in the middle of the screen and the top of the screen will take you to another P2 paper you might be interested in. As I said, the description also has links to other papers you might be interested in, P3, P1, S1, M1, also um, you know P4 and also IGCSE material will be found in that description link. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.